Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyendra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create a end-to-end -end data entry software in Microsoft Excel using BBA. I have created this data entry software using Excel BBA and the database is available in MS Access file. You can see it is available here. And this is the Excel file in which I have developed this application. So let me open this. I'll show you the feature of this application. This is the form. As soon as you will open the Excel, this form will be popped up. If you have a shop or a store and people take some stuff on rent from your shop, then you can manage that data here. So I'll show you how it works. You can fill the customer details here. Let's say the customer name William is mobile number here. I'm putting let's say any not applicable and the address. Let's say I'm putting New Delhi, India. The stuff, whatever you are giving on rent, let's say I'm putting here some book name, Excel formulas book. Okay. And the pickup date when this person has picked up this stuff. So you can select the date. Just click on this calendar button and this calendar will be popped up. Let's say he picked up on 2nd June. All right. And just click on submit because return date and the amount will be filled once he will return the book. All right, so you can see the entry is available here. If you want to update the data, let's say for this one, Jackie has written the this history book, then you can just simply select this record and click on edit button, or you can double click here, then that information will be filled. Or even if you will click here, then still it will be filled. Now you can put the return date. Let's say this is today's date. Total amount was 30 rupees or 30 dollar, whatever you want to put here. I have not given any currency sign and the paid amount is also 30 and just click on submit. That particular record will be updated. You can see here and now here I have given few other feature that is if this list is long, you can use the filter. Now you can select here a uh, return pending how many books or how many steps are pending to return just select this click on refresh you can see these are the pending for return because there is no return date is available here you can select any other things like customer name and type here customer name let's say pk and refresh you can see the record of pk here similarly the other thing address pickup date or any other thing the second is order by or the sort by you can sort the data from here, let's say using the ID, you can sort the data, data as data, or you can select the mobile number, the customer name, the data will be sorted by customer name or the pickup date, let's say. If you want to delete some data, you can simply select some record and click on delete, then that data will be deleted. If you want to export this data available in this list box, you can click on export to Excel, the data will come out to new Excel and you can analyze that data. So this is simple application, simple one page form and you can minimize this using this button and maximize this using this button. All the data is available inside this database. I'll show you the database also. The data will be available here. And one more thing I would like to tell you friends, multiple user can work on this application. You can put this folder in your shared drive. Now I'll tell you from the starting and step by step, how can you create this application? So please watch this video till the end. I will tell you in multiple steps. Like first of all, I'll tell you how to create the database and how to design this form. Then I'll tell you how to put the code on multiple buttons like in these buttons and minimize maximize button, this list box data and filter order and these buttons all right so first of all i'm going to tell you how to create database file all right so let's start i'm just going to stop this you can see the code is available here now i'm going to this folder i will create a new folder here so new folder and let's say i'm putting new application we will create our application in this folder so now let me open new ms access file first and just click on blank database and you can save this database in this folder and here i'll put the name of the database only database now we will create our table so i will create only one table just close this i'll go to the create i'll go to the table design here first column i'll take id and data type i'll take auto number 
right click make it primary key all right so it will be the auto generated number the next i will take customer name the data type will be sort tax then mobile number for the mobile number i am also taking the data type as sort tax because if user don't want to enter the mobile number user can just enter any or any other tax so i'm just keeping it as tax then address again text and stuff sort text and then pick up date now this will be date and time now return date again this will be date and time total amount this will be number and here in the field size you can take double okay default value is coming zero you can remove this just take default value as blank and same you can copy this field and you can paste this here and in place of total amount we will take paid amount at the last i'll take update time stamp whenever new record will be created or it is updated then it will capture the time stamp and here i'll take date and time now just close this and it will ask you do you want to save this table one yes you can put the table name let's say i'm putting tbl underscore customer okay so our table is ready you can see here now i'll go back to the excel here i will add a new workbook just press ctrl n and i will add another worksheet here that will be the supports okay now let me save this file here i will rename this let's say new application or you can put any name now just save this file as macro enable or excel binary workbook just save this now i'll go to the developer tab visual basic so here i have created two form now i will create these two form in new application file so i will insert the first user form just make this user form slightly bigger like this right click go to the properties just rename this let's say frm customer caption of the user form you can put customer form or whatever you want now the back color i'll take white color i'll change this special effects also i'll take this one so now let me close this explorer also because i want to make this form slightly bigger okay now i will add a image first of all so just put the image here and change the size like this right click on the image go to the properties and back color i'll choose black color this one now i will insert a label this one and change the label name whatever you want to put the application name let's say i'm just putting rent management system and make slightly bigger change the font name here whatever font you want to take and the font size also let's say here i am taking this monotype cursiva and size i will take around 28 align this center and i will change the font color also so i'll take four color as white and move this here okay so there is some background color also available in this label right click and go to the properties and just make it transparent so you can see the back style is not transparent just select the transparent now we will create our minimize and maximize button so i will add this command button right click go to the properties just rename this as vtn minimize and remove the text from here and put back style as transparent change the size make a copy of this and paste this here right click go to the properties rename this as btn maximize and now we will add the picture so i'll show you i have downloaded and created few picture using ppt and few downloaded from google so these are the pictures which we will use i will add maximize and minimize these pictures for maximize i'll go to the picture here i will paste this path and from this folder for maximize i'll choose this picture then i will select this button and here i will select for minimize so we have created these two button now we can move these button here 
put these button like this all right now we will design this customer detail to design this i will add a frame first this one frame like this right click go to the properties change the size make this bold around 9 and caption of this frame i will keep let's say customer detail okay now we will add the buttons and tax boxes here and label so i'll add a label here just label and rename first of all i'll put here customer name right click go to the properties make this transparent first and size i will take around 8 only now i will add a tax box so i'll take this tax box and just click here so tax box is available here i will change the style and again the font i will take 8 only i will rename this tax box as txt customer name okay now i will copy this tax box and paste here i will keep this tax box here first of all i'll change the label name i'll take mobile number and here rename this text box as txt mobile number just copy this and paste again here like this now we will create a text box for address so we'll create slightly bigger so rename this as address for the address we can enter multiple lines so just enable the multiple line here select this text box first of all rename this text box as txt address and just scroll it down multi line is false just enable this true okay now copy this and paste now i will rename this here i will put stuff and again we will keep this bigger tax box so we will rename this tax box also txt stuff copy these two tax box and paste and just keep these tax boxes here the first will be pick up date and second will be return date we can change the text box size also because we just need to enter the date here so right click first we will rename as txt pickup and second will be txt return okay now here we will add the calendar button so i'll add a command button just add a command button here just remove this text from here resize this move this here and also make little smaller like this right click go to the properties back color we will take white and here we will add the picture of calendar so i have already downloaded this one just click on open now make a copy of this and just paste this here now i will copy these two text box and paste again and just keep these text boxes here just change the size slightly bigger like this and rename this as this is total amount and this is for paid amount all right now we will align properly align these all middle so we have aligned this okay now here i will insert another frame just like this make slightly smaller right click go to the properties just rename the caption as filter y make this bold now i will insert a combo box so i'll go to the toolbox and i will insert a combo box just click here and just click here so our combo box is available here right click go to the properties and just change the special effects this one now i will add a text box here just copy this text box and just move this here i'll add a command button here a small command button i can copy this one and just paste this here we will change the picture of this button just go to the picture and just take this refresh picture okay now just change the size now i will make a copy of this box and just paste here just put this here right click go to the properties and i will change this filter by as sort by or order by and we don't need uh, this box here just remove this box make the copy of this command button and just paste here now we have two command button so right click on the first one and first we will create for ascending order and second for descending order so just go to the picture and here we will take the picture for ascending order you can put control tip text also and here i'm putting let's say sending order second change the picture this one control tip text as descending order change the size 
take the height around 15 now i will insert this image just click here resize this image take this size right click go to the properties you can rename this as vtn update existing and control tip text you can add update existing record picture we will take this picture and here picture side mode we will take stretch now just remove the border from here so border style just take none so it will look like this now make a copy of this and paste here right click go to the properties we will rename this as vtn delete put here delete record and the picture we will take for delete this one make another copy of this and just paste here and this time you can take the excel picture and here you can put vtn export to excel here control tip text as all right so we have designed this form now we will add a list box here so just go to the toolbox and add this list box and just drag a big list box here like this right click go to the properties and here first of all i'll change the spatial effects i'll take this one and then i'll go to the back color i'll take a light back color let's say this one now you can put another label here just copy and paste you can put this label here and for this label we can show the count here right click go to properties and this will be lbl record count so how many records are available in this list box it will show that count this makes slightly bigger if i will run this it will look like this we have forgot to add the submit button here if you will see so let me go back to the visual basic top this this form now make slightly bigger just add this command button here rename this as submit copy and paste and rename this as clear okay now our design part is completed in the next part of this video you will learn how to put the code for minimize and maximize button submit new record show data in this list box edit and delete and the other buttons so please watch the next part of this video thank you so much for watching